When you think of super fancy luxury watches, you're probably thinking of Patek Philippe. It's a top brand, loved by collectors for its rich history and great craftsmanship. Even rich young people love it because it's the ultimate luxury watch. Celebrities wear them too, but here's the catch. All this quality and fame comes with a big price tag. So, are Patek Philippe watches really worth the money, and why are they so expensive? Stay with us and we'll explain it all. In the groovy 1970s, there was a big shakeup in the world of watches. The Swiss watchmakers were facing what we call the quartz crisis, a time when fancy new quartz watches were taking the market by storm. It was a bit like a wild dance-off, and the Swiss needed to bust some moves to keep up. And then, in this whirlwind of watchmaking history, along came a man named Gerald Genta. He's a bit like the trendsetter of the watch world. In 1972, he dropped the mic by creating something called the Royal Oak Jumbo. It was a watch made from steel, but it was a luxury sports watch. A pretty radical idea back then. People went wild for it. Now, Genta wasn't just done there. Just a few years later, in 1976, he worked his magic once again. And this time, he gave birth to the Nautilus 3701. The name says it all. It's all about the sea. Imagine looking at the round windows on an old school ocean liner. That's where the design inspiration came from. The sides of the watch case even mimic the hinges on those ship windows. Cool, right? The name Nautilus? Well, it's like a page right out of a Jules Verne adventure. You know, the guy who created 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? In that story, Captain Nemo was the boss of a super cool submarine called the Nautilus. So there you have it. A watch named after an epic ocean adventure. The first Nautilus was built tough. It used a special kind of steel that could handle crazy temperatures and pressures. It even had a steel bracelet that was seamlessly part of the watch. Now, fast forward to 2021 and the Nautilus is celebrating its 45th birthday. It's come a long way since its grand entrance. The collection now features watches made from fancy metals, adorned with sparkling gemstones, and there's even a version just for the ladies. Plus, they've added some really fancy stuff to make it more than just a time teller. It's like watching a classic movie. But every year, they add more awesome scenes to it. And that's the story of the Patek Philippe Nautilus, a watch that's always making waves in the world of horology. What makes the Patek Nautilus so expensive? It's not just the long history of the Nautilus that adds to the value of the watch. The prestige, craftsmanship, and exclusivity are all factors. Brand prestige. Patek Philippe, the Swiss watchmaking maestro, has been crafting timepieces without pause since the distant year of 1839. That's more than 180 years of watchmaking wizardry, my friends. But here's the real gem. Patek Philippe isn't just any watchmaker. It's the oldest still standing and one of the very last remaining independent, family-owned watch manufacturers in the game. Since 1932, the Stern family has held the keys to this prestigious brand, and they've been steering the ship with unwavering commitment. Their mission? To keep pushing the boundaries of watchmaking. Ensuring every tick and talk is a testament to quality, precision, and timeless elegance. It's like they're the guardians of horological heritage. And they're not about to let that legacy fade away. Quality of a Patek Philippe Patek Philippe doesn't just make watches. They craft horological masterpieces. With a history stretching back over a century, they've honed their craft to a point of perfection. Their secret sauce? Vertical integration. From the very beginning to the end, Patek Philippe takes control of every aspect. It's like they're the masters of their watchmaking universe. Research, development, production, assembly, and the meticulous hand finishings? It all happens under their roof. And get this, it's not just their simplest watches. Even the Grand Complication models gets the same VIP treatment. But it doesn't stop at just making great watches. Patek Philippe is a pioneer. They've got a treasure chest of over 100 patents. Innovations that have shaped the watchmaking world. Here's a fun fact. They're the brains behind the first ever annual calendar. That's like inventing a new kind of magic for timekeeping. So when you wear a Patek Philippe, you're not just wearing a watch. You're wearing a piece of history, an innovation on your wrist. Scarcity of watches. The magic of Patek Philippe lies not just in their exceptional craftsmanship, but also in their inclusivity. Imagine a treasure trove of 140 different watch models, each a work of art in its own right. 
Now here's the jaw-dropping part. It is believed that they make less than 70,000 watches in a year. But no one knows the exact number because Patek Philippe likes to keep things mysterious. To give you an idea of just how exclusive their watches are, let's focus on the Nautilus 5711, a timepiece that's got watch enthusiasts buzzing. In 2019, Mr. Stern, the head honcho of Patek Philippe, let us in on a little secret. They were producing only about 10% of what people were craving for the Nautilus 5711. It's like trying to grab a front row seat at a sold out concert. You need some serious luck. But here's why Patek Philippe is the cream of the crop. Each watch that comes to life in their atelier goes through a grueling series of tests. They're like doctors, ensuring every tick and tock is perfect. Countless hours, passion, and skill are poured into every piece. From the very first step to the very last, and only when they meet the most stringent standards do they earn the right to wear the coveted Patek Philippe quality seal. So when you wear one, you're not just wearing a watch, you're wearing a piece of meticulous artistry, precision, and rarity. Popular Patek Philippe Nautilus Models While most collectors instantly think of the Nautilus 5711, if you haven't heard about 5711, just wait till the end till then. There are quite a few noteworthy models in the lineup. Patek Philippe 5712 The Patek Philippe 5712 Nautilus, a remarkable timepiece, entered the scene back in 2006, marking the 30th anniversary of the iconic Nautilus collection. Although it shares the same elegant case as the 5711, this model adds a touch of complication that watch connoisseurs truly appreciate. It's a watch with a personality of its own, offering features like the date, moon phase, small seconds, and a power reserve indicator. What makes it even more special is how these functions are elegantly positioned around the dial, creating a unique visual symphony. The 5712 is synonymous with the classic steel models, boasting the iconic blue dial. However, it also comes in rose gold with a brown dial and a white gold with a gray dial, giving you a spectrum of choices to match your style. This is a part of the second generation of Nautilus watches, designed by the legendary watchmaker Gerald Genta in 1976. Back then, it was a groundbreaking fusion of luxury and stainless steel, and it took inspiration from the sleek and round shape of ship portholes. The case may look large, but it wears smaller, thanks to its slim profile and the integrated bracelet. What's fascinating is that the Nautilus wasn't just about steel, it also graced wrists in steel and gold, 18K yellow and white gold, and even platinum. Patek Philippe measures the case at 40mm from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock, but some folks refer to it as 43mm when measured across the dial from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. The new generation of Nautilus models sport a convex hinge and crown, beautifully matching the bezel. However, the chronograph model introduces two buttons above and below the crown, giving the Nautilus silhouette a fresh twist. The case of this watch is made up of three main components, a departure from the original two. The solid monoblock black is gone, replaced by a sapphire crystal, allowing a peek at the intricate movement within. Those side-mounted bezel screws, though, are still there, but now they form a sandwich with the case in the back rather than attaching directly. Back in 2006, Patek Philippe threw a grand party in Geneva to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Nautilus collection. They bid farewell to the old and welcomed the new, introducing four exciting models. Alongside the 5980, they unveiled the simple 5711-1A, the mid-size 5800, and the 5712 Moonface. And let's not forget the highlight, the Nautilus Chronograph, reference 5980, a first in the Nautilus lineup. They also added pink gold models and gave enthusiasts the option of leather straps, breaking away from the traditional integrated bracelet. One impressive feat in designing the Nautilus 5980 was keeping the dial as clean as possible. They managed this by placing the minute and hour chronograph registers together coaxially in a single sub-dial at 6 o'clock. Coupled with the flush, contoured buttons, this creates a subtle, refined effect. To a casual observer, the Rev 5980 might even appear to have a second or calendar sub-dial, or perhaps a second time zone rather than a chronograph. 
The movement at the heart of the 5980 is the Caliber CH28520, which had made its debut a year prior in the annual calendar chronograph Ref 5960. It's a marvel of precision and sophistication. The Ref 5980 has garnered an immense following among collectors and enthusiasts, resulting in long waiting lists. It's more than a watch. It's a testament to Patek Philippe's commitment to craftsmanship, design, and innovation, and a cherished addition to the world of luxury timepieces. Patek Philippe 5726 The Patek Philippe 5726 Nautilus Annual Calendar Moon Phase is a marvel that entered the stage of luxury watchmaking in 2010. It holds the distinction of being the first steel watch with an annual calendar in the Patek Philippe lineup. Unlike its cousins, the 5712, the 5726 boasts a dial layout that's elegant in its symmetry. At the top of the dial, you'll find the day of the week and month side by side in perfect harmony. This is mirrored with a date located at the bottom of the dial. Originally, this watch came with a black dial paired with a leather strap offering a classic and timeless look. For a brief period, it was available with a steel bracelet and had the option of a white dial. Today, the classic blue dial is in production, available on a steel bracelet. And the black dial is paired with a black strap. The Nautilus Ref 5726 is a sports watch introduced by Patek Philippe in 2010, marking the beginning of a new chapter in the Nautilus family. This timepiece carries the legacy of the Nautilus line, which was designed by the renowned watch designer Gerald Genta back in 1976. Inspired by the sleek and round shape of ship portholes, the Nautilus has always stood as an icon of luxury in stainless steel. The case may appear large, but its slim profile and integrated bracelet ensure a comfortable fit. Although predominantly known as a steel watch, the Nautilus has made appearances in various forms, including steel and gold, 18K yellow and white gold, and even platinum. Patek Philippe measures the case at 40.5 mm from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock, but others sometimes refer to it as 44 mm when measured across the dial from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. A departure from the original Nautilus, the new generation features a convex hinge and crown that beautifully complements the bezel. This new case is composed of three main components instead of two, with a solid monoblock black replaced by a sapphire crystal, allowing a glimpse into the intricate movement. Much like the short-lived 3711 and 3712 models, the side-mounted bezel screws remain but now form a sandwich with a case back, rather than attaching directly. The Rev 5726 brought something new to the Nautilus family. It was the first to feature an annual calendar, and its case design is distinct from other Nautilus models. It differs significantly from the Ref 5712, although both share the appealing moon phase complication. The dial design is refreshingly clean and symmetrical, featuring a simple subdial at 6 o'clock for the moon phase and a 24 hour time, just above a digital date window, and another window at 12 o'clock for the day and month. The Nautilus 5726 shares the same full rotor automatic movement as the base model Nautilus, with the added moon phase and calendar complications. In 2019, Patek Philippe introduced the blue dial, Ref 5726-1A, replacing the dark gray and white dials in this model, offering collectors and enthusiasts another exciting option in the Nautilus lineup. This annual calendar moon face model embodies the spirit of innovation and luxury that has made Patek Philippe a name synonymous with horological excellence. Pricing Patek Philippe Nautilus watches are renowned for their exquisite craftsmanship and timeless elegance. The price of these iconic timepieces reflect their luxury and exclusivity. As of the latest information available, a ladies' automatic steel version of the Nautilus starts at around $29,000 when purchased through an authorized retailer or from the Patek Philippe website. On the other end of the spectrum, the Nautilus Perpetual Calendar is positioned at a premium level and is priced just below $135,000. It's worth noting that the demand for these watches is incredibly high, and Patek Philippe has taken steps to address this. In 2018, the brand increased the prices of all steel models by 20%, in part to manage the soaring demand and exclusivity. 
However, even if you're ready to invest in a Nautilus, finding one can be a real challenge. These timepieces are highly sought after and are often difficult to locate at authorized retailers. They are equally elusive on the secondary market, where prices can vary on the model's rarity, condition, and other factors. For instance, in the current inventory of a reputable source like Watchbox, Nautilus models range in price from $37,000 to $110,000. Showcasing the wide range of options and the desirability of these watches among collectors and enthusiasts. Ultimately, the price of a Patek Philippe Nautilus reflects not only its exceptional craftsmanship, but also the enduring appeal and prestige associated with this iconic watch. Patek 5711, a discontinued icon. The Patek Philippe 5711, a timepiece that made its debut in 2006, was a modernized and reimagined version of the original 3700 model. It arrived on the scene and immediately took the watch world by storm, capturing the hearts of collectors and becoming one of the most sought-after timepieces in authorized retailers. This iconic watch was produced with either a blue or white dial, featuring distinctive horizontal lines. It displayed the essentials, hours, minutes, seconds, and the date, all in a design that exuded a sense of timeless simplicity. Despite its apparent simplicity, the 5711 was a technical marvel. It was powered by the caliber 324 SC, boasting a 45-hour power reserve, a four-spoke Gyromax balance wheel, and a Spiromax balance spring. The rotor was crafted from 21K gold, adorned with Cote de Genève graining, beveled edges, and sealed with a Patek Philippe seal, a mark of exceptional quality and craftsmanship. The 5711 was a versatile watch with its sporty, nautical-inspired design. Surprisingly, it could effortlessly complement a tailored suit, thanks to its slim case and minimalist dial. However, in January 2021, the watch world received significant news. Patek Philippe announced the discontinuation of the 5711. In an interview with the New York Times, Thierry Stern, president of Patek Philippe, discussed the decision to discontinue the model. He also hinted at the development of a new reference to fill its shoes, promising that the replacement would be better and quite major. Despite the discontinuation of the 5711, the Nautilus collection remains a powerhouse, offering a range of watches from ladies' pieces to grand complications. In the same New York Times interview, Mr. Stern highlighted the incredible demand for Patek Philippe timepieces, with some retailers maintaining wait lists that stretch up to a decade for certain models. However, on the secondary market, enthusiasts and collectors don't have to endure such waiting times. What's available online is what's ready for purchase. Places like Watchbox offer a dynamic global inventory that's always changing, allowing you to explore the current collection of Patek Philippe Nautilus models and find the perfect addition to your collection. In the world of horology, Patek Philippe's Nautilus collection stands as an enduring symbol of luxury, innovation, and craftsmanship. From its inception in the 1970s to the recent developments and discontinuations, the Nautilus has left an indelible mark on the watch industry. These timepieces are not just watches. They are a testament to a legacy of excellence. Whether you're fortunate enough to own one or still on the hunt, the Nautilus will always be a celebrated icon of timekeeping.